Hey y'all. All right. I just wanted to show y'all um uh three masks and um <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to show you all these is because um I think that these were working pretty good. Um so the first one I'm going to start off with and then what I'll do is I'll put it on. I'll show it to you. I'll put it on. Oh wait, I need more hand gestures. I'm sorry. I'll show it to you. Let me have a chance. Hold on. I will show it to you and then I will put it on and then I will uh, show, I'll basically put it on, show it to you and talk to you about it a little bit about it while it's drying. So the one that I think takes a little bit longer to dry um, for me is the Kanji pack. Um, I do like it. Uh, what I noticed is I'm going to just start to put it right on. Hold on one second. Let me just wash my brush. I'm going to apply these all with a brush because I think the thin layer may make the video like not be so like long and drawn out. Hold on one second because I can't really see myself. Okay. So first I'm going to apply this one first and then I'll go over it and tell y'all what I think about it and you know, my feedback. So first I'm going to start with the kanji pack. Um, this one is the consistency is thick it is gold um, it takes about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes to dry uh, now what ends up happening this is the one that I was telling you that as you if you put it on quickly you know it'll dry all at the same time but what I noticed with this one is that it actually turns white so this is the one I was telling you that it's not my the, my favorite, but I do use it the most out of the others because of the fact that I feel like it does pull out all the impurities. Um, and especially in that area that I like. Now, all of these masks that I'm going to show you, they are eyebrow safe. You can put them on your eyebrows. Um, it takes about five minutes for it to dry, about 10 minutes for each one to dry. And, um, I'm doing all of these because just because, um, you know, my skin is going through the transition, it is clearing up and I definitely do approve. But the main reason was that, um, these are all with the same company and, um, I have a few people that was telling me that they had, um, kind of like an oily skin. I'm sorry, it's my lips not on it there. They had oily skin and they wanted to dry out their skin. So I just did that one. Let me just rinse this off. And then I will tell you about it while it's drying. And I'll do this for each one. And I'm sorry it took me so long to do a video. But um, I have been busy. And, you know, my hair is done. So, I mean, I didn't really feel a need to, like, show y'all how my, um, I'm sorry put water on my phone uh show y'all my face and stuff because you know i haven't really been doing anything so let me just get y'all a good look so you can see what it's doing it's turning white here oh wait i didn't put any on my nose no i want you on my nose i'm gonna use my hand for this part because um i just washed that brush but yeah let me just look in the mirror and make sure i should have looked in the mirror the whole time while i was putting it on so I can make sure it's in all areas. But yeah, pretty much what it this is the one I was telling you I don't really like too too much because it turns white around the rims and it doesn't dry from the outside in. It kind of dries from the inside out. Like if it's a, a edge, um, it'll come from that edge. And um, what this one does is this one dries out the skin and um kind of like uh doesn't have any tingling sensation it doesn't have any um like high sensitivity or anything like that it is a very um good mask that as soon as it's dry everything is going to be white all at the same time i have like acid reflux i'm sorry um everything all at the same time is going to dry and um everything will be white all at one time now i I think this is the one that you can just wash off. So again, this one is the kanji, the kan kanji, kanji pack. 
um, Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy. And I have been using this for at least a month. Um, it's all in Chinese. So I actually can't really tell you anything about what's in it. All that I can really tell you is just pretty much how I feel about it. Um, I do like it because I feel like it does dry out blemishes. Um, I do like it. I, I don't mind keeping it in like my regular regimen. I don't. It's just sometimes that, you know, you don't really want max mass to come off being um, offensive. You don't want to come out and by the time you're done, your mask looks like this. You kind of want your mask to be what the next mask is going to look like which is you know you can also peel it now i thought that when i was putting this on in the beginning that i actually could like do a peel or whatever but i noticed that it didn't really peel so this is a mask that once it's finished drying it'll pretty much just all turn white and then once it turns white then you just rinse it off and you get like this this comfortable feeling of clear it just feels like it pulls off whatever layer of dead dead follic like dead oils um sebum oils impurities like it doesn't peel off any skin or make your skin like like bright i mean i think it does do a bright thing but um it's more of a take off that first level of any grime dirt impurities and it just leaves your face feeling so clean and is definitely something that I would recommend to anybody who has uh, dry skin, um, oily skin or dry skin or combination. It could be any kind of skin um, that any kind of skin, oily, dry combination. I think that it's a good uh, mask. And um, as soon as it starts to dry, you can touch it. It doesn't really flake or anything. The the one the part that takes the longest for me is this part right here because it's like a deeper level. And a lot of times I like to wait for that. Once that turns white, that's when I go to another mask. So this is where we are. And it's just going to continue to dry. So while that's doing that... Um, I will pretty much talk to you about the next one, but I just feel like with this one, I like the way it, the finish is cool. Like you put it on and it's, I think it's a clear texture. No, it goes on white. What I like about a lot of the masks are that they are something and then they turn into something else. Like when I was doing the older videos with the Eliza Becca with the um, bubbling clay mask, you put it on and it's like a mask and then it bubbles into something and it's just like, you're just like, wait a minute, it was a regular, a regular mask. Like you, I use it as a cleanser a lot of times because um, my predominant thing with that was I was looking for a cleanser. So the fact that it was a cleanser and it has a mask, a foaming mask, that's kind of like, it kind of plays its part. So I would say, yes, that is a very good mask and it is very um, good for the skin. A lot of these masks also target collagen. So if you have like lines here, they kind of stretch them and bring them up and, you know, lift the face, a natural lift. So you'll get from this one, I believe it'll dry out the skin. I think from the next one, I think the next one makes the skin flake. Like um, if you had a blemish and you wanted to dry it out, um... Hmm. I'll go more into that, but I just use the cleanser and the cleanser. I don't know. Everything kind of just works together. And I know that when I first started doing this, like my biggest thing was I want to dry the blemishes out. I want to dry this. Out. I don't want to dry that. Out. I want to dry that. out. And I think that this combination, like the quad, the sink that I have, I have like a sink. It's a sink because um, I have five different products that I'm basically using. And then there's certain products that I use that I don't use all the time because I'm still trying to master really how to use it. So I think that that is the main reason why certain ones I'll let you know at the end, which are the ones that I don't really use that much. And it's crazy because I was saying that um, 
I didn't know if I liked it or not, but I do like it. It's just, I feel like certain ones, I might have to go back and do books on it because I feel like, um, because I have sensitive skin still that I need for whatever it is to not give me any type of redness after. That's my biggest thing. Like I'll try something and then I'll turn around and then my skin has like a little red splotch somewhere and that I don't want like with me when I do masks and things, I like immediate results. I don't like results that take forever in the year um, results that um, pretty much um, put you in a situation where it's just like, did I put any right here? Yeah, I did. I don't want any type of mask that is going to put me in a situation where um, I just feel like it didn't do anything for me, you know? So certain ones that I do like, like I really like this one. I don't know why I like this one so much, but I do this one more than the others just because... Um, I feel like it's not it's the easiest one to remove when it comes down to washing my face I'm sorry I'm gonna zoom out because I do my hand gestures um when I when you are washing your face I think that this is the easiest one to remove and that's the reason why I like it something that's quick something that's easy something that gives you good results like this one can be my staple too and I do have a little backstory on this I had ordered one that said there was only one in stock and like they only had one and that's all they had and the price that they had that's the only one they had and then I made a mistake and I had purchased one but I didn't know like where the payment had came from so I ended up um, canceling the first order and then I reordered it and then I called the company to ask them if they had got the order um, which one was a valid order which one was canceled and the lady kind of suggested that I cancel it so I took her advice and then um, I went in again and I purchased it again because she was like, just buy it again. So I had canceled it. I bought it again. And then but by the time I was done, I had made a mistake and I had bought three of them. So I had three of them. And the only thing that I would say is that it came really fast. Like it said that um, I had ordered them and like all three of them came the same day. It was actually very scary because I had tried to cancel all of them. But I mean, I kid you not. Um they all came so fast and I just felt like well wow like that is a lot and um I didn't think I needed that much but now that I see the quality I kind of get an idea like even with the um I'm sorry let me finish my sentence I feel like I kind of get an idea like sometimes when a product is really good like it's like you make a mistake and then you buy it again and then you make a mistake and you end up buying more than what you were supposed to and then it's like oh wow and now you really like it and I actually like this one out of all of them I like this one the best and I sent back the other two because I just didn't appreciate I was trying to get my bills in control and I didn't appreciate the fact that I had gotten three and I really only wanted one and it was just a matter of like I canceled it I canceled two of them the third one was supposed to come and all three of them came and I canceled the two and then they didn't want to cancel the order so I would just say that when you purchase this one please make sure that it is the one that you want and please make sure that it's the, the a quantity of the one that you want. And I purchased this for $13.74 and I will remember that price for the rest of my life. Okay. So yes, but this one is a very good one and I really like it. I like the fact that it was gold. I like the fact that it turns white. I like the fact that I feel like it does something for this area right here. I Ever since I used it, I just feel like the more I use it, it just draws out. It draws it out. And um because I do it so much, I feel like when I be going to get the laser and stuff, I feel like, um, not the laser. It's kind of like a, it's an epi, the, the, not the epi, the, um, the micro needling pen. When I get that, the micro needling, I feel like because I do that, I don't feel like I need it that much, but then I'm still going to go in, I think on Sunday to get the micro needling. So I really do need to do that. And I will be doing that. Um, I do not want to push it past this Sunday because this Sunday I want to go shopping. I want to get like certain things. So, but I will show y'all, you know, as we go and um, I just got to make sure I put an appointment in then I just got to make sure that I get to it. And that's it. I'm, I will be going to get my face done on Sunday and I'll bring y'all with me. I just got to make sure all my cameras is charged and everything is good. But lately things has been just breaking down. I have to order a new ring light. I didn't order that yet. Um... 
I gotta order a new ring light. I have to order, make sure my 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 cartridge portal is working good. Like it's just so much going on with that camera right now and both my cameras and I'm just like, ugh, ring light cameras, everything is just, I don't know what happened. Like I had everything, I had the system, I had everything and then I just turned around and I didn't have nothing. It was just like, okay, money, money, money. <laughs> All right, so yes, Kanji, I like you. Now, um, the next mask is called the Gold CF Nest Collagen Jelly Pack Mask. Eliza Vecca Gold CF Nest Collagen Jelly Pack Mask. Uh, yeah, this was the one I just now put on. Just to give y'all a visual. Um, I think it came with that scratchy thingy, but I'm not, I don't really remember. I like this one, y'all. This one, if I ain't teach y'all nothing out of this video, remember this one. This one is the one right here. I think that this is gonna be my 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 um one of my staples. Cause you know I'm looking for the good cleanser, the good, the good moisturizer, and the good mask. The Liza Vecca cleanser is good, but it's because I'm spoiled and I want more. And I don't always like to have the foamy, bubbly thing, but ex except for the fact that I don't want that to change. So I do like the fact that it's extra and I just use it for a little bit, but I like that. I don't want nothing to change about that mask because I like the fact that it's natural. It comes from, um, all of these are um, kind of like all dealing with... Um, like the coal from volcanoes and natural, everything is natural. And when things are natural, it changes on its own naturally. So it's like your body never really will adapt to it because your body is always dealing with a natural product and natural things are natural and they vary anyway. So it's like, okay, there's always going to be something different. So I really do like that mask and I don't want it to change. I buy it religiously. That with the collagen pack mask, that 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 glaze sensation, I love that. Um, that's, that's like a serum moisturizer. It's very good. It's very hydrating. I just don't want none of these products to change and I would stand by them for as long as I could like I definitely don't have a problem So you see how right here you see how it dried all the way That's the part that I that bothers me the most like that's the one that I really need to really work. So With that being said, I mean I could wait for this right here to dry. I don't think it's a booger But it sure looks like one <laughs> It looked like a booger but um it might not dry i mean i could try to like enhance the fan or whatever but i'll let that try to dry and then we're going to move on to the next one i'm going to rinse this off and then and i can just give you like a good visual of what it looks like um like i don't know how to describe it y'all but i mean you don't have to worry about your eyebrows a lot of these masks i just got over the fact that you can wash them and you don't have to worry about anything like I just really like these and they're good and I don't have no discrepancies I don't have no nothing no 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 bad feedback about these things like I just don't I want this to dry so badly I think I'm not gonna let that dry <laughs> it looks gross um so yeah I wish I could make this dry quicker but I don't think it's gonna dry any quicker I wish it would I really wish it would. And it might not. <laughs> I want you to dry now. I want you to dry. Read my shirt. It says, I must confess I still believe. And then my pants say, still believe. That's hot, right? I think I got this from my, my, my babe bought this for me. My babe. He put this for me. Nice. Yes. So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna just rinse this off. It's, it's technically gonna dry. Um, I'm gonna rinse this off, and yeah, the eyebrows is done basically. So I'm gonna rinse this, and then we're gonna go on to the next mask. So just give me a moment. And when I rinse, I rinse with hot water or warm water, and um, then I'm gonna pat my face dry. So let me just do this. I don't know if the water's gonna get warm, 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 warm. I wish it would, but um. Yeah. So if you like this one, let me know. So for the mask, you can label them one, two, and three. And y'all can let me know which mask y'all like better. Okay? Alright, so this one is going to be one. Okay? Hold on. I'm just going to show you what it does.
Now, it's been a while since I did all three at the same time. But I'm really doing it for y'all. So that y'all can see, like, how everything is doing. I'm sorry. Okay. And if I could just get this thing off my face, I will be... I would be so happy, y'all. I would be so happy. Hi, y'all. Hi. Okay, let's do the next one, okay? All right. So, yes. See how this does? It looks good. It looks hydrated. I still have these areas, like, especially this one right here, but it kind of goes away. This one is, like, gone. Everything is gone. Like, it's, everything is flat. Everything is gone. Everything is trying. And it's like, I got these masks, and I just want to see everything just, like, scrape off. So, that's why I like this one, because I feel like this one dries out the pimples, dries out the blemishes, and then you see them flake one by one by one. And it's like, okay, yes yes okay so let's go to the next one this is the I'll, I'll i'm gonna put it read it again this is the eliza vecca gold cf nest collagen jelly pack mask and y'all if y'all get any like bumps like these like the ones that keep on coming back i don't know if i can get my camera to get it but if you get those little it looks like it's a a, a just a hard a hard blemish like a hard little one that just kind of like is solid that is called a, um amelia and you go to the i'm an esthetician so i mean i i can get them out um it normally doesn't come back but i sometimes get it sometimes when i use the next mask i'm gonna show you like it it makes me get a red irritate it makes that it's that one red but um, a lot of times, I would just say any pimple, just try to dry it out. And if you want to pop it, you could pop it. But um, maybe when I go on Sunday, I'll let her do it. Because I'm not going to pop it. I'm just not. And it might not even be that. It might just be a blackhead. But I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, I'm not picking at my face no more. And now that I got a person that does my skin, I actually like her. And she's cool and she's down to earth. I'm just going to rock. We're going to bang out. We're going to see what we can do. All right? Now, so again, this is the Eliza Vecca gold cf nest collagen jelly pack mask i'm gonna try to take her with take her with me everywhere i see the discounts i'm gonna be there on sunday i'm gonna i'm gonna be there on sunday now this mask is a white mask now what i like about this one i don't even want to tell you what i like about this one you can tell me what you like about this one because this one this is the one that you wear when you when, when your man come over and you want that um that mask and you don't want him all up in your face and you don't want him to say oh my god i see a ghost this is that mask y'all this is that mask. This is the mask that you wear when your man come and you don't want him to know you got a mask on your face. This is the invisible. This one is the invisible. I call this the invisible. You don't got to know what I got on. You don't, know, you don't got to know I got a mask on. You don't got to know nothing. You don't got to know. It's private. Masks are private, all right? You don't want your man to see you with this, all right? This is the one that you wear. You go to the front door. You go to your friend's house. No, you don't go to your friend's house. But this is the mask. This is this this one right here. This one is the one we was waiting for. This one was the one. Now, I don't know about you, but wait till you see how this one dries. This one is so cool that this will be a staple just because it's invisible. I'm gonna call this the invisible. Because it goes on white and then it dries clear. It dries clear, y'all. No color. Now, this one is a little bit stronger than the other one. And that's the reason why I'm putting them on in this, in this order. Because, let me make sure I get that little section right there. Because this one is the one that I feel is gonna dry out the blackheads dry them out and then whatever was a was a was a blemish that you wanted to dry out it'll flake off it'll just be like a little dry patch and you'll start to see it like come as a patch and it'll not really a patch like an empty patch hole and then it starts to like you can i don't know scrub and then after you do your scrub you don't even see it anymore so yes this mask is my second go-to that has been working for me and I definitely like it. 
and I will show y'all and talk to y'all about it a little bit as I'm doing it, as it's drying. It's gonna dry really fast, that's why I like it. So, hold on, let me rinse off this thing and then I'm gonna show y'all the next one. The next one I have to I have to make it, so it's not, it's not the same thing. The only thing that I don't like about this mask is, it's supposed to be a peel off mask, but it don't really peel off. Like, I've tried to put it on with the brush, I try to put it on with my hands, and it's like, it's just, it's not gonna peel up. Either my skin is, it, unless I don't put a thick enough layer, but I need for it to dry, so. But this mask right here, this mask is the one that you want to have when you go out. This is the one you wanna have when you're trying to even go to sleep, and you just wanna make sure you put a little spot, a little, little, little dot on top of something, and try to play yourself. In the morning, it might not be there, you might have lost it, but, and it's not gonna be a color that you're gonna see because it's gone. But a lot of times, sometimes I'll, I'll leave a little dot on my face and I'll go to sleep with it sometimes, so I could just like, it, it just dries it. So, but not this one in specific. Like, there's other things that you can do. Like, go back to your basics if you want me to show y'all more masks and stuff like that. I'm down with masks as long as they're not like the next one because I feel like like when I was in school right um there was a girl who had put some um like the gold mask on my face and at first I thought that I was allergic to the gold but then I feel like I was allergic to the shellfish that was in the mask and that was the reason why I didn't like the one that I have coming up next because I feel like it makes me get red spots on my face. But I like it because of what its name is. And it, it targets collagen. Everything is lifting. Everything is supposed to be lifting. Like the one I have here, this dries out. And then this one over here gives back moisture. And then the next one is going to be lifting. So it's like dry out, moisturize, lift. This one moisturizes. And at the same time, I think this is the one that does the, the, the flaking. Like, it will dry out your skin. Like, don't let anything that anybody... Well, for me, this is me. I couldn't let nobody... Nothing that nobody said to me affect me until I get it. Now, these two masks, I'm feeling. I think that they are very good. This mask is good for oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, any kind of skin. If your skin is dry, oily combination, um, breaking out... First of all, watch my previous videos. Go back to the Eliza Becca cleansing because that has been my staple since I stopped using it. Um, it's not going to change for me. It's not going to change for you. So I don't mind sharing any of these products with you because they're natural. When a product is natural and it's coming straight from natural things, like I don't feel like me sharing it with you is going to prevent it from working for me because it's all natural. As long as the product is natural and it has some type of chemical reaction, I like the cool things. Like when I walk into the store and I look at the, the water bottle or your, your bottle or whatever and I open it and I look at it and then I see a little snap over here and I see a little thing go around this way and a thing go back this way. I'm, I like things that look extra. I like the extra. So I don't never have a problem with it. So let me show you. It's not all the way dry yet, but once it's dry, I can take my hand and put my hand over it and it's gonna be like a rubbery film, like a film. But for me, I just rinse it off and I'll show you. That's the only thing I don't really like about it because it's supposed to peel off. It's not supposed to be, um, it's not, what is this thing with my nose? Like, why do I keep on having like a, this looks like a booger. What, what was the booger thing about? I mean, I don't get the runny nose like down my nose, but I do. That's one thing I noticed, like, even for me with my makeup, I always get that. It looks like my makeup be like cracking here, but I think it's because I'm just sweating. Like, I'm literally just sweating, but it's not as bad as it used to be before. Like, like I know how to dress with my outfits this year, so it's like it's not so overpowering and stuff. And I also like the fact that I could just kind of like wipe. I can literally wipe my lip with my makeup, so I mean... I mean, in all actuality, like, I don't have to worry about my lips or anything like that. Like, I'll, I'll probably wipe some of it off. And I think the coolest thing is that me, I've been literally, like, interacting with my makeup. I've been putting my hand on my lip, rubbing it down, and the makeup kind of just, like, goes right back into place without me having to apply more powder. Like, if I could prevent putting powder, that is what I'm doing. Like, use powder to give your face a matte effect, but use less. Like, try to put makeup on and put it on once. 
do not try to put it on again and again and again and again and again like i almost don't even want to walk around with my powder but you never know when you're gonna have a moment and it's just like it's like the end of the world and you know you look nice that day and then this one little situation got you sweating like a pig or this one situation got you looking like you ain't got no lip or you look like you got extra hair on your lip you just you need to have something that is going to pick you up like a pick me up so you, like it's cool to walk around with your powder and that's really the only thing i walk around with but for the last week or two weeks i've not been using extra powder and i've just been using less i've been using less which is my goal like i want to use less i do like wearing makeup like i think i'm addicted to makeup i really think i'm addicted um i would just say like use less if you could use less if if, if there's anything that you could do use less because less is more i'm noticing that and the more you put on the younger that your skin will look like especially right here like i have been doing very well with this line area right here because i'm not putting on that second level of powder after i spray don't overdo it like i noticed that like once you set the makeup you're supposed to set it and forget it so i learned i trained myself to kind of like after I spray don't set it again and if y'all think that that works for you please like the video if you think that you're overdoing your your makeup and you think that you could use less like less is more and let's not ever forget that like if you learn anything from me if you learn anything from my channel I know it's small but we're gonna work on getting it up there but quietly um confidently securely and safely we want to get there safely and I just want to be able to promote the fact that you know, you don't have to overdo it. You just don't. You just don't have to overdo it. And it's been working for me. And I have really, I haven't been having, because I'm not old. You know what I'm saying? I don't really brag my age because I don't want to, whatever my age is, I don't want to be that age. And I don't look that age. I want to look young and vivacious. My channel is for young and vivacious. I'm trying to be young and vivacious. Young and vivacious. Not getting into that age and being comfortable like yeah i'm this age all right i'm about to wear this i'm about to wear that because if for me i noticed that when i wear clothes that don't make me present myself like in a way that i'm comfortable with i look older and for me i'm i'm just learning that less is more when if, whenever i do less i look younger whenever i do more i look older so i just think that um, I'm plain Jane. I don't have to do more than that. Like, I just don't. Even I've been I've been doing less eyeshadow. I, the reason why I've been doing less eyeshadow is because I'm really trying to get out of the house quicker. Um, the reason why I've been just doing my eyebrows and my lipstick and stuff, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm trying to get out there because for me, it's not that I'm a perfectionist, but I when I am not a perfectionist, you see you know, one of my eyebrows is being bigger and then the other one's being smaller. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have time to be perfectionist. I just like to get it done. And then when I get it done, it looks fine. But when I'm trying to be all neat and extra and trying to keep it in the lines, and that's when it's well, that's when I jack it up. So this mask, I think it's dry. It's not dry right here, and that's what I'm waiting for. As soon as this turns white, I mean clear, because it's white right now. If you can see it, it's clear. I want it to be clear, so it's supposed to all be like this. Now, it's a little bit sticky, but it's not giving any effect where it's, you know, it is. Now, I can try to, like, rub some of it, but it's not peeling. It's not peeling like it's supposed to, and with that being said, that's the reason why I rinse it. Now... If you've ever had, let's say, whoop, you don't have that. <laughs> let's say, for example, um, you want to um, wash your face. You ever seen, like, okay, you know how you rub your skin sometimes? Like, you ever had a, a situation where you rub your skin, 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 you rub your skin and then you start to see your dead skin lift up like that? Okay. Um, or you get a carpet burn and your skin rubble up like that that is what this does and i don't know if it's supposed to be the one that literally peels because i kid you not like i just can't get this to peel i mean unless i didn't get the the, the official tissue one in which i care but then again i don't I, I don't care because i don't mind i don't want to be rough with my skin i don't want to be abrasive with my skin and i feel like with this mask um it's it's a rinse off and then 
The skin looks light. It looks bright. It looks natural. It looks healthy. It looks young. It looks vivacious. It looks the way it should look. And that is why I like this one. And I like the fact that it's clear. It looks like I'm, 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 I'm cool, clear, and under control. Clean, clear, and under control. It looks like I'm clean, clear, and under control. And I like it. So uh, that is the reason why, you know, this is good. This is really good. This is really, really good. And I expect from this mask to see anything that's a the next the next section of patch skin that will be peeling and the cool thing about it that I know when I know it's working is it'll look like I have a little a little light section and that means that in, it was working in that section and that's why I like that mask and it also is a, a collagen mask and it's lifting it's lifting I mean maybe I'm not getting the lines because the masks but I'm also getting a lot of sleep I'm also using less makeup so the less that I use and then these products like everything is working all together so I mean and my skin is clearing up as well so the fact that my skin is clearing up I'm also using all the primers I'm using all the moisturizers I'm using all the sprays I'm using all the finishing this all the finishing that I'm using less this less that I have less breakouts I do now I'm getting really ones that I get the most I keep getting this one, but I think I wished this one on myself by accident. That was my fault. Like, I was watching a video, and my cheek was, was like this. Like, I was smiling, and I thought I'd seen something, and I didn't see anything. And then the next morning, I woke up, and I had something. That was my fault. So, it's not y'all, it's me. Um, I don't blame nobody but myself. Now, over here, I don't know. Like, I got a little blemish here, and um, I didn't know where. It just came. I think it was there for two days, and I just... I didn't bother it or anything like I could I could target it I could I just don't want to pop it like I don't want nothing else to be like that again so I don't know if this is gonna finish drying but I'm gonna have to okay look it's starting to peel right here but I think that's because it was partially wet I didn't let it dry all the way it never does this y'all and I really think it's because I didn't let it dry all the way it doesn't really do this all the time. And that's cool though, it wants to a little bit, but I know really what is the deal. So with this, it'll do that. And then of course with any mask, just like with the black mask, it's trying to peel, which is cute. This is what it's supposed to do. But I'm trying to not be so abrasive. So in this case situation, I just rinse it and it's off in a second. So hold on one second. Ooh, cold water, I don't like. Hold on. And I'll show you what it does. Look, you see this right here? That's what I don't like when I rinse it. The white film that peels up. See all of that? That's the only reason why I don't like this mask. But then I can't really be upset because it's like supposed to be a peel off. So, but I just, that, ew. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because nobody's in the bathroom while you're washing your face. But hold on one second, let me rinse this off. And then the next one, I have to mix it. And that one, I can't have on my face for longer than I think. As soon as I start to see it dry, it's supposed to be a peel off mask. But I don't think that it's right. Like, all of these are supposed to... I thought that they were all supposed to be a peel-off. Even when I bought the gold one, I thought it was supposed to be a peel-off. But it ended up not being a peel-off. And um, that kind of made me sad. And then this one was supposed to be a peel-off. And it never... It doesn't give me enough grip to peel it off. But I don't mind washing it off, so I'm okay. Like, I'm I'm content with rinsing. I'm very content with that. I've never been upset about rinsing my face off. Um, I'm just, I don't think I have been very not happy about that. So, all right, this is the other one. See how my skin just looks a little bit more brighter? Like, it just looks so much brighter. All right.
side. Hold on. Okay, see how that looks? It just looks brighter. It looks brighter. I like it. Um, I don't have any discrepancies about this mask. I really don't have any discrepancies about anything because I think, like I said, I think I'll look so much better in real life that um, I don't really be having complaints. So that was the Gold CF Nest. And I think I bought this for... 11 1192 something like that like most of these masks are like supposed to be like in the ten dollar range even the eliza becca and the moisturizer they're like ten dollars each so really good masks now this mask is and that's mask number two so if you want to put it in there that you like that one you can put number two then i have the now i done tore up this bottle because i'll be doing my makeup and stuff so this bottle don't look that clean, but <clears throat> I just want to show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the, can you see it? For professional use, modelage mask, modeling mask, collagen, skin rejuvenating and moisturizing. So this one I like, I like it, but what I don't like about it is that the first time I did it, you know, I was in the bathroom. I wanted to do it. As soon as I got it, I put it on. And I was in the bathroom, and I put it on while I was in the bathroom. I was using the bathroom. And then I'm peeling it off my mouth. I was just peeling it off my face. Peeling it. I was having so much fun. Then I wanted to do it again. And then it didn't work again. I was just like, come on, man. The money is the money. It's always the money. All right. So with this, um, it comes in a little package like this. I still haven't taken it out of this, which I think makes it more messier, but that's my fault. And it's just because I'm not really fond on messes and stuff like that, but you really don't need a lot. So you just pour about enough for the mask. Now with this mask, please, if you could prevent putting it in the sink. I mean, I think I've done it before in the sink and it's been okay. But if you could prevent it from being in a sink, um, this is how much you really need. You don't need that much, um, but you do want enough. So I'm going to just put a little bit more. I would say two, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons? The big ones. Three of the big, big scoops. Of things. And I'll show you. What, I'll try to show you. Hopefully it doesn't fall, but you need about that much. Can you see it? I always do this and then I spill it and I don't want to spill it y'all I really don't but if you can see how much is there okay and then I'm gonna pour some water in there I'm gonna try to get some warm water you don't need that much water you just need a little bit of water um, just to make a creamy texture and then it's going to cream up into like a creamy white it looks like clay like a clay you ever made went to school and you tried to do a clay a clay um you made a clay uh vase or something because i know when i was younger i went into those um classes now i don't know i i'll be making it thick but maybe i can make it thinner i'm gonna try thinner and um maybe a little bit more soupier i'm gonna try to apply it and see if i can peel it off because honestly this mask does not need to be on there for more than oh my goodness um 10 minutes because if you don't get this mask off your face in 10 minutes number one you ain't gonna be the peel it no more number two it's gonna be solid as a rock and number three and it's so much you you it doesn't peel up your eyebrows or anything um but if you don't take it off in enough time you could lose it you could lose your brows um it, i don't think it's that hard to get it out of clothes but it is hard to get it out of the sink so I don't know if you'll remember that, but you'll see. It don't matter if you rinse it down the sink after this point, it'll dry. And then when it's time to take this bad boy off, if you let this go down the sink, your sink gonna be clogged. And it's gonna take a couple of days for it to come out. I'm not gonna lie. You're not gonna be a happy camper. You're gonna be tight, you're gonna be trying to get out of the sink. I think the best bet would be just to go ahead and let it continue to rinse out. Like it will break down eventually. Like 
I've had it in my sink before. I've had it in the bathroom sink. I've had it in a few of the sinks. And man, this thing is nobody's joke. It's, as soon as it gets in the sink, it starts to like turn into something. And you just like, what happened? Exactly what's on your face once it dries is exactly what it looks like once you rinse it off. It'll, it, it goes right. It becomes the mask again. Like it, it, you'll see, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to go over my face until I use as much as I can. Cause I really feel like I used, I'm gonna go over my face three times, but normally when I put it on, it's thick, like a thick mask. And it takes like little to no time to do it. So it's pretty good. Uh yeah don't try to rinse it off but you can try to like clean out the bowl i would say just put it in the garbage can um i mean i really don't know this mask is a mask that just like i said it's a mess and i think that was a reason why i didn't really like it um but i do love it i love the fact that it was a peel off mask and it was a rubber peel off mask it is a rubber one like a rubber um i think i paid if I didn't pay $20 for the canister, I think they sell it separately. I really don't, I think I spent, let's say I spent 16 or 15 or I spent a few dollars on this one. Um, but I found a better price. It could have been like 20 something dollars. And I think that's what took me so long, but then I found it again. And um, I found it at a lower price. So yeah. Uh, gonna wait for this to dry and then a little bit dry a little bit to rubber I'm gonna wait for it to dry to rubber and then once it dries hopefully I can catch it because it just it's such a cool mask it's just really hard to 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 catch the fact that it's rubber it's really hard like it's hard you have to just eye it's not an easy eyeball you know what i'm saying it's not an easy it's not an easy mask it's not as easy as you think and that's the reason why i was skeptical on showing y'all this one because it's really not an easy mask to put on or remove so and it's a it's 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 a hazard it this mask is a problem i'm not gonna lie this mask is a problem so to clean it um I wouldn't even put it in a toilet bowl, man. I really don't know how to help y'all on this. But as you can see, it's starting to rubber up already. I just don't want it to be on my lips. Any, I can put some more on my lips. Let me use the mirror. This mask, man. Oh. This mask will have you feeling like you Yosemite Sam, honey. <laughs> By the time you're done. But this one is a good one. I'm not going to lie. I can't sit here and say I don't like it. It's just because I I stopped using it so much because I don't like the fact that it clogs up the sink. I mean, there's things I could put to cover it. But I don't know. I don't like the fact that it's just a mess. Like, it's a mess. You got to clean out your brush before you rinse out the brush. Like, way more than, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that easy it's not easy y'all this one this one is difficult it's difficult you have to clean your brush thoroughly as much as possible and hope that there's nothing in there and then see clean your brush try to make sure there's nothing in between and then rinse it off and it's like you do the same thing with your face but with this one you try i would i would say use a washcloth Use a washcloth or use a paper towel because, like I said, this one is a hot mess. Um, not easy. Uh, takes time, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to it. It's not one that you can look in the camera. You have to look in the mirror and be watching it. Like you see how it looks with the eyes. See how it looks. See. Like right here, it's starting to be like a little white section. Do not let this mask dry on your face. 
it's going to be so hard to get it off and you're gonna that is gonna remind you of a dry version of the black mask it's a dry version and it's not gonna come off it's not it's not easy this mask is a five minute five minutes ten minutes like as soon as you can peel it off peel it off as soon as you can get it to come off if it don't like see right here it's not ready and i was gonna peel it but it's not ready you cannot play yourself like this is a cannot play yourself mask and it's in chinese again a different language so it's like i don't know what to do so yes that now with the bowl the inside i still have that it's oh my gosh it's drippy it's drippy that's how drippery it is um when I first put it on, I put on a lot. Like, I put on enough for it to be looking like a mask. Like, when I was done, it looked like a mask already. Um, and it didn't take much to do it. Uh, hold on. Uh, I loved it. The very first, that's what, the first time is what made me want to do it the second time. I'm telling you, because I was able to catch it, but... This mask is a clean out your bowl first and then clean up all your mess first and then make sure the bowl is empty and dry and then rinse it. Because if it gets caught in the sink, it's going to be caught in the sink. But it, I think it's going to take like a day or two to break down. It takes like a day or two to break down. I can say that much. There's people that will say, don't let it be in your sink at all. Don't do this. Don't do that. You still got to rinse off the excess. So, you know, it is not even a wash it in your shower type of thing. Because when you start seeing your shower foam back up with the product. And it's not like, it's not foam. It's like a white. As soon as I peel it up, that's exactly what gets caught in your sink. Y'all don't understand me. I, I cleaned out the bowl as much as I could. I'm going to put some soap in there. And then I'm um, going to rinse it out. But y'all don't understand. You won't understand this mask until you get it. But... Once you master it and once you figure it out and you understand how it works, you'll know what to do and you'll time it the right way. And I'm going to watch the video from when I put it on, when I finish putting it on. And I'm going to try to give you exact estimates. That's going to be later when I have time. But you can see, like, remember when I was telling y'all, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this video with all of this. This was an hour. I bought it food. My food came before I even started the video. So my food is getting cold and everything. But... As soon as this thing is ready to peel, I'm going to be peeling. Like, okay, look. See how it's white right there? And it's still not dry. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, this mask, man. This mask is not dry. So, yeah, that is um, the reason why I had gotten this one is because I was getting a lot of the lines and stuff. But I think that I get the lines because I talk a lot also. But um, I didn't really want to do too much talking with this one. But I think I'm doing better with that. So it's not so bad. But I heard when you first, the first person who promoted this to me. Um, I don't know how I found it. I don't even know how I got in contact with the video. Like I was just searching for a, a gold peel off mask. And then once I seen it in a big canister i was on it like i was on it i was on it as soon as i seen it because when i was in school i had learned um oh i was telling y'all about the um the gold thing um when they put the gold mask let me finish telling you about that and then i'll tell you about this one so this mask they put the gold one on my face and it had gave me little red spots or whatever i couldn't i basically couldn't sit with the mask on my face and i don't know why i don't know if it's just because i was i wasn't really me and this girl we wasn't we was not okay like we we just was not okay. We was we was trying, but it was just like I just did not want her. She didn't respect the fact that I didn't want her to touch my face because her, she had a really bad breakout. And I feel like because she touched my face, like that breakout that I just had, I feel like it's partially her fault. Um, because she was supposed to keep her gloves on, and she really took them off and put her hands on my face. And I was just like, you know what, that was not right. And then it's like anything else that she did after that was like my my my, my skin rejected it. I rejected her and everything must everything was rejected i ain't like nothing so it probably wasn't even her fault 
that the product didn't work, I think it was just her. It probably wasn't the product, it probably was her. And once I didn't like what she did, I didn't like nothing that she did. So that's probably what had happened. And she was really one of the only people that touched my face. So And my face was clear before she did anything. So I believe it was her. So that. And then, um, and I just, the mask, it irritated my skin so badly. I just could, I could not sit comfortably. But the fact that it was gold, and then this is gold, that kind of rings a little bell that I'm not allergic to the gold. I think I was allergic to her. So I would have to buy the product again to be sure from, from the school. Now, this product here, this one is supposed to be a peel-off mask. Now, when I was in school, they had a, a blue one, a green one. I think they had a, a yellow one or white one or a pink one or something like that. They had a blue one and a green one for sure. And I think one of them was for like moisturizing skin, dry skin, oily skin, dry skin, and combination skin. And I think I used the one for combination or something. And that one you could put in the microwave. And I got a couple of cubes of it. But that mask, that is what got me into this mask. And if this one don't really work, I would go back for that mask because that's actually a good product. And, um, yeah, I like it. So, but I think they have one of them that has the sea shellfish and stuff. And I think that's why I didn't really like this one so, so much. It's cool. But if you don't pay attention, like I was saying, like it's still drying. And that's so weird. Like, and then by the time... It dries it's not really drying properly unless it's not my bathroom has no temperature or something because you see how this rim is back here see how it's a rim it's really hard to like decipher if this mask is gonna dry properly like I used it once I used it twice I used it three times and my third time was the driest time but it's really hard to decide like with this mask like how do you peel off something and you don't you, you can't really tell like it changed it changed it changed from a peel off mask to um a little bit more drier and I couldn't peel it and I had to rinse it and then it dried into another peel off like drier than dry and then it was so dry it was like one of those modelage masks like not a modeling mask a modelage mask it was hard as rock and I couldn't get it off so this one, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't because I'm scared that it's going to not be a peel off anymore. You see what it's doing, right? It's not, it's not really being a peel off mask. And I'm, I don't even want to let it dry because I'm scared that when it's time for it to come off, it's not going to come off like rubber. It's going to dry like the other one dried. And it's not gonna it's not gonna peel off like a peel off mask anymore. The first time I did it, it was so freaking cool. But I used a thick a, a thick quantity. I think I used a thicker quantity. I don't know what I did the first time, but whatever I did the first time, that was the right thing to do. And I don't know what I did unless I used less and I put a thick amount. Because at this point, this is not gonna do nothing but drop. It's not going to be no rubbery like it wants to. It wants to so badly. But I'm not even going to allow this thing to rub rub because before it rubbers up, it looks like it's going to dry out before that. Look, this is drying up like the other mask dried up. It's cool, but it's been being different. It's drying. It's not the same product anymore. It was so cool the first day I got it. But now, mm -mm. now I don't know what it's doing. Can't call that. I don't even want to put on more. I just don't get it. I don't get it anymore. For all of that, mm -mm. I don't get it. It was supposed to be a rubbery mask. And I just, I can't sit for it. To, to, to wait for it to dry to the driest point that I know it's not gonna do it anymore. And I don't know why it's not gonna, like right here in my nose. See how my nose is acting? I, I wiped it, but it's not moving. Like my, my nose might let us see an idea of what it does. But only right here, because I think I have like enough for a mask here. But all the other areas, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it being rubbery enough. 
I think it's too thin. But then if I put a thicker amount on, I don't think it's gonna do what it's supposed to do, but it might do it here. It's trying to be rubbery on my nose. It's trying. I have no patience, y'all. I don't want this thing to stay on my face because I don't want to have a hassle to get it off. It's, it's nobody's joke to get it off. But it's once it comes off, it's such a clean come off. It looks clean, and then you just have the white rim. You just have the white rim. You, it leaves you with the rims. Like white eye sockets, white mouth, white rim. But everything else will peel off like a peel off. Like... This wants to be a peel off here. See it? It's trying. But I told you, I don't got no patience. The way it came off last time, mm -mm. it hurt my face. It hurt me. I was not down. I don't have no patience. I want this to come off and I just want it to come off. See, it's rubbery. It will come off and it will be a rubber, but I think I have to master the peel off amount. Like, to decide... See how it is? And it's crazy because when I was touching it the first time, it wasn't really doing it. There it goes. I don't know. 61, 28, 29. And I want to try to get off as much of it as I can because honestly, I don't want it to go down the sink. See it? Eyebrows though, nobody's joke. The dry. See, okay, when it gets here, like a when it looks like rubber. See it? It looks like rubber. This is the part where I would just be like, trying to take it off. There it goes. It must have to look like rubber. Cause before, it was not doing this. It was hard. It was solid as a rock. Mm. See how my mouth is? It was dry like this. And it's so hard for it to come off, y'all. So hard. I prefer to just try to get it off now. Because this one will hurt you. I'm about to just rinse it off because you kind of see what the forehead is, but this is what you want it to do. You want it to peel off. Okay. You definitely want it to peel off into a full peel off process. Me, I can't wait for that because I really am not a fan of inflicting pain to myself. So I'm going to. Yo, I'm about to rinse this in my sink and what I'll just do is I'll let y'all know what it does because I'm not keeping this on my face. I'm not taking another chance. I'm not. It could just come off. I'm not going to sit here and be abrasing my skin. Nothing. I'll let you know what happens on my sink and I'll, maybe I'll show you. But this is not. It's just a mess. This one is a mess. But, as I said, I prefer to um, find something else. Like, use it till it runs out, but really find something else. Because this it's not a um, mask. What I'll do, because this is really not supposed to be rinsed down the sink. But I remember when I had seen it, and I walked away. I was just like, I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm not going to be rinsing, reaching down the sink to pull out whatever's there. It, it went away. So what I'll do is I'll let you know how many days it took to go away. But it does disintegrate. It does. The same way it's rinsing into something, it rinses into something. But I don't know. If y'all have any problems on the other side, let me know, okay? Because I can't get it all off. And I'm not going to sit here and be ripping my face. I'm just not. I'm just not. I refuse. I refuse. I will... Buy something later on though. Like it clogs the sink. It does clog the sink. But I'd rather it clog the sink. 
because it could have been worse if I would have poured that whole entire amount down there. But I have to rinse my face. So yeah, it clogs the sink, it becomes something, sees it, it looks like it don't do it at first, but then it dries. And I'll show y'all real, can I, can I flip my camera? I can't flip my camera right now, but I just want to show y'all my face. And um, yeah, I'm the type of person that I'll do, I'll do many masks at one time. I'll do as many masks as I can, but my biggest um, hardship is that I overdo it because I over cleanse my skin. So I'll end up, if I would have took a tissue and like started to abrase it, I would have abrased the crap out of my skin. I would have ripped the crap out of my skin. So that mask is number three and you are going to need a bowl, a brush. You can use a brush with all of them. And it will stretch your product as well. And the collagen mask. Yes. When we Once I have time to figure out exactly how long it takes, I think I need to maybe thicken it up and wait a few more minutes. Like, wait 10 minutes, check it, tap it in a little spot, and then come back in three minutes, two minutes, and then tap it again. Because it's, it's, it's a scary. It's scary. It's scary. And you cannot. You just cannot. It's not one of those masks that you think you can because you can't. Okay? Do not underestimate the power of this collagen mask because you will get played and slayed. Okay, so hopefully I helped you. It shouldn't take longer than that to take it off. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Please don't leave it on your face for longer than that. It's not for everybody. It's only for some people. You will have you will be in pain. Okay. So now I'm going to follow up with the um the Eliza Vecca moisturizing um collagen pack and um yeah that's pretty much what i will do um actually i'm gonna wait for a minute just to see how my skin is if it's drier because i don't know what i'm gonna do as of yet i might not put on anything but i might put on something i'm just not sure what i'm gonna do yet but i'm leaning more towards my um my collagen pass pack the moisturizer one not the soap so go back and watch the videos and if you think that you liked any of these masks that, that the last one was number three if you think that you like any of these masks you can let me know um if you have a mask that you want me to try you can definitely give me a recommendation now there was masks they sent little gifts and stuff um with these products but for me because I have very sensitive skin, I won't be trying any of those again because um, they have little things in there like acidic, acidity, acidic, and um, things that are like have um, medication in them. And you know, there's some things that are moisturizers. There's some things that say that there's no chemical in it. You wash your face, and then two minutes later, your face is burning. My advice would be keep it in mind because like I don't know I don't know what's in their products but some a lot of their products have strong chemicals and I have a box of stuff that I should have kept those ones that I had. I have a box of stuff that they sent or that I had gotten. Like remember that um what was that company? I don't remember la, la, la something. I'll show it to y'all later. The one that was the white one. I can't use that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That will burn your face. It burns your face. The, the those jelly pack things. Well, it burns my face. I don't know what it's gonna do for you, but you let me know what you did and if it worked for you. And if you have any recommendations, you let me know and we will get back into contact. Okay, if you need me, I'll put my email down below. If you need me, um keep watching the videos, like the video. If you want to see more, like the video. Um, if you want to share this with a friend, you can share this with a friend or a family member. Um, and I'll do some more research and I'll let y'all know what else I have in store for y'all. And I will come back maybe, um, the next, I was going to show y'all tonight, but I'll show you in a different video, um, how to revamp your braids and, um, maybe I'll come back and show y'all a makeup video. I just need time and food after because I got my food waiting for me. So I'm about to go eat that and then. Yes, I will be back, y'all. So if you need me, 
Okay, come back and see me. Until next time, uh, that's a wrap cut, okay? All right, so I'm gonna see you later, all right? Mm -mm -mm. That's a wrap.